Welcome to the Virtual Strategic Solutions Virtual Reality Simulation System. Accessing Legacy Dataset. Files loaded. Simulation ready. The Troglodyte Degeneration Contagion, or Troglytic Degeneration Contagion, TDC, is a transformative and degenerative disease that has plagued the inhabitants of the pit throughout the centuries following the war. As the condition advances, extreme symptoms culminate in the patient's complete metamorphosis into a trog. According to Dr. Sandra Kundanika, who coined the name, TDC is the result of intensively concentrated ambient radiation exposure, combined with the unique industrial toxins and pollutants in the region that surrounds the former city of Pittsburgh, and as such cannot be contracted by contact with the infected. According to Dr. Kundanika, all people who live in TDC active areas develop noticeable skin lesions after a few weeks of exposure. These are reversible, as they may clear after a month or more if the victim is away from the area. For many sufferers, this is the full extent of the disease. However, for a certain percentage of people exposed to the toxins of the pit region, TDC also alters their brain chemistry, producing intense psychological effects and turning the affected into wildmen. Approximately 20% of the adults exposed to the TDC lose higher reasoning and motor skills over the course of several years, first becoming wildmen, then with continued exposure, ultimately degenerating into the feral mutants called trogs. Nobody has ever been documented recovering from full degeneration, although there are rumors that trogs retain some memories and recognize the faces of loved ones. While adults have a slight chance of experiencing full degeneration, children born in TDC-infested areas have a nearly 100% degeneration rate, turning feral within weeks after birth, with one sole exception. Marie, daughter of Dr. Kundanika and Ishmael Asher, was born with a natural adaptive immunity to TDC, offering hope that one day a cure for the pit's whole population can be developed. So far, the efforts at synthesizing this cure have been slow going, mostly because Marie is still a baby, and that being the only test subject, she must be treated with care. Trogs reside in the pit. Due to the contagion being endemic to the town, approximately 20% of the populace have transformed into these wild, chattering monstrosities, hiding in darkness and attacking anything on sight. They will kill friends and loved ones. They say lines like, kill it, meat, hungry and food, when attacking and hurts, pain and why, upon being injured. Some can even be heard muttering, peace, or thank you, right before they die. Trog fledgling. These trogs are the smallest and weakest of the trog family. Regular trogs are much larger and stronger than trog fledglings, but are still vulnerable to headshots from high-powered weapons. Trog brutes are slightly larger than regular trogs, but have almost double the health. Their attack is twice as powerful as their standard variants. These trogs are the strongest and most powerful trogs in the pit. They are encountered rarely, but are essentially trog brutes with slightly more health. Although only slightly tougher than trog brutes, trog savages have powerful melee attacks similar in damage potential to those of a giant rad scorpion or myalurk hunter. Billy has encountered the first time the lone wanderer enters the pit steel yard. Should one choose not to kill him on their first encounter, Billy is never seen again. His brother John John can be seen talking to him, trying to tap any human reason still left in Billy. It is soon revealed that Billy, however, has lost all of his ability to reason, and soon the one-sided conversation deteriorates to John John running to a locked gate screaming for help. At this point, Billy attacks John John. John John will not fight back, and should the player character not intervene, Billy will kill him. He will then end his scripted events, and like any other trog, attack the player character. Should the player character kill Billy and save his brother, John John will walk over to Billy's corpse and cry. He offers no thanks or dialogue options. When conversation is attempted, he only pouts a pitiful Billy and continues to sob. Trogs who have adapted to the pit and have become hardened and strong. They can emit a disorienting howl. The youngest of trogs, small and marked with a green paint-like substance and easy to kill on its own, but groups of them can devastate a player due to being able to produce a toxic sludge similar to the Devourer and Superior. Trog Striker. 
takes the place of the Devourer during Union dues if one manages to find all four Strikers' logs within one instance of Union dues, has identical stats and appearance of the Devourer. However, this trog is implied to be Pat Gerber, trog superior. Similar to the Devourer, these trogs have adapted to the pit's harsh environment more than normal trogs, looking identical to the trog Devourer and possessing the same attacks. However, they are weaker, but more commonly encountered than the Devourer, making them all the more dangerous. Glowing Trog. Trogs that have become highly irradiated and developed bioluminescence due to the intense radstorms of the pit. Glowing Trogs are only seen during the final phase of From Ashes to Fire in the radstorms at the trench. Simulation completed. Please exit the pod or have a technician select another file.